it's very difficult and attractive as well. If I want to do some simple editing, uh, I can also do that in the web browser itself. Outlook is our number one app. We like conversation game. 
I think everybody is getting about, we normally get about 300 emails per day, one of our merchandisers. And if it's merchandise by then, it's about, my team will go to about 500 mails. And 500 mails is quite a lot. Even if you spend 30 seconds per mail, it's going to take most of the day. So, while of you seeing this conversation means, same subject, by the time he comes to office, there are about five or six mails regarding the same subject. Because some of our buyers start early, some of them work late, so different time zones. Uh, typically, on a particular conversation, you have got about six to eight mails. And if he starts reading from the one to well, five, you spend about eight times 30 seconds to cover the conversation. But with the conversation view, we normally now can directly go to the last conversation and cover the entire conversation uh, how it has really played out during the first two hours of the day. Um, activity window is very interesting. Whenever I get a mail from somebody, I see what are the other activities I have done with them, what are the meetings, what are the attachments I have shared with them, especially with the buyer, what are the last postings I have sent, even to the supplier, what are the last purchase orders I have sent. So some of these features makes our time more productive than before. We use PowerPoint to a large extent, and some of these features will come in handy because uh, we also use some other analysis of software on the video editing and photo editing. Uh, control, but still a few are around the place. So I think with most of these features, we will be able to remove most of these additional video editing and picture editing software and rely on PowerPoint itself to give killer presentations. Excel, as you know, most of our finance guys live in Excel. Some of these slicing dicing features are really going to make their life much easier and for us to digest their numbers much more, let's say, compared with our own view rather than with the number that we want the financial test. One application I'd like to really emphasize on is an application called OneNote. This is a separate app, but with the Office 2010, it was included in the standard suit of the product. Now, this is something we have been slightly growing in the numbers and handling to do, because we use multiple palettes. Let's say, uh, I handle four to five concurrent uh, projects or task at time. And sometimes it's difficult, let's say, even uh, with you guys, let's say, when you come to a meeting like this, how do you keep your notes? Most of you rely on your notepads or piece of shirt, uh, paper, things like that. One of the app which tracks all your digital uh, note taking or digital notebook, I would say. It can track multiple uh, projects. It seamlessly integrates with Outlook where the to-do task and the uh, meeting request can be maintained and all your meeting notes in one place. This is one map we are trying to drive throughout Hydromony Group, the user base, saying that how to be more productive while having multiple tasks is one more because since it's coming with our standard uh, license packet, we believe that this app is going to change the way we work, uh, make us more methodical, make us more uh, say reactive and proactive to some of our uh, to-do lists, some of the promises we give, and ultimately all your digital notebook is in one place, on one note. So that's typically a uh, product of our user experience. We have just begun the full-blown deployment of Office 2010 now. Uh, senior management already has the 2010, and uh, within the next three months, we'll be deployed in the whole group. Thank you very much. Any questions? I'm here to take on it.